استغفر الله لزيما الذي لا اله الا هو حي القيوم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله على نبينا Your Excellency Muhammad Buhari, GCFR, President, Commander in Chief of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Your Excellency, the Senate President, Dr. Ahmad Ibrahim Lawal. The Right Honorable Femi Bajami Amila, Speaker, House of Representatives, Federal Republic of Nigeria. Your Excellency, my dear brother, Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Jinubu, Jagaba Borgu, our presidential candidate, the APC. Your Excellency, Senator Kashim Shetima, Vice Presidential Candidate of the APC. Your Excellency, Senator Atiku Bagudu, Chairman, Progressive Governors Forum. Your Excellencies, all APC governors that are able to be with us on this occasion, members, my colleagues, members of the National Working Committee of our Great Party, the Director General, and members of the Presidential Campaign Council, my dear brother, the Secretary of the Government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, distinguished senators, Honorable members of the, of the House of Representatives here present, our very distinguished leaders of our great party here gathered with us, members of the fourth estate of the REM, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you all in the name of our God and our great party, the Old Progressive Congress, APC, to this auspicious and important occasion. We are gathered here today, not only to launch the Presidential Campaign Council of our great party, but also to unveil the action plan of our presidential candidate, His Excellency Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Today is the day, the day we meet the yearnings of our citizens and the world. Let the word go forth this day and from this banquet hall that the APC juggernaut is set to roll through all towns, cities, and village squares in our country, crushing all opposition and paving the way for his self-succession in the 2023 presidential and general elections in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Seven and a half years ago, we came into power at a precarious moment in our country's political history. By dint of hard work, perseverance, discipline, good governance, and the far-reaching policies of President Mamadou Buhari, GCFR, we pulled back Nigeria from the brink and stabilized the country. This occasion is a double-barreled one for us and our great party. In addition to inaugurating the Presidential Campaign Council, PCC, we will also launch the action plan of the candidate titled Renewed Hope. Together, 
These two, in one occasion, takes the national political leadership of our party to the level we had always wanted it to be, right there at the top. Let me pause briefly here and acknowledge the presence of the Chairman of the Presidential Campaign Council, His Excellency President Muhammad Buhari, the man whose name is synonymous with the name of our great party. Let me also welcome, in a special way, the presidential candidate of our great party, Senator Bola Ahmed Tinubu, as well as the vice presidential candidate, His Excellency Senator Kashim Shetima. As the then General Buhari said in his inaugural speech as military head of state in January 1984, I quote him, this is the moment of truth for us. This is the moment we are inaugurating the team that will deliver our victory at the presidential polls in 2023. It is a moment we put paid to the lies peddled against the leaders and the members of our great party. It is a moment we demonstrate rather than verbalize our unity and purpose. It is a moment we solemnly reassure Nigerians that our party is united around a common cause, the cause of peace, unity, and national development. We will neither shirk our responsibilities, nor disappoint our team millions of supporters in all corners and crannies of our great country. The APC leadership of the country is cast in stone. I congratulate and salute all the members of the Presidential Campaign Council, the illustrious men and women who have accepted to serve our party. They are in it for one great and selfless purpose and that is to work tirelessly, honestly, and committedly to the victory of our party at all the levels of electoral contest next year. On their broad and strong shoulders rests the fate of our party in the, in the, in the general elections of 1923. I know we stand together in the task ahead. In the task ahead, we must not take the continued support of the people for granted. This party stands once more on the record of its performance at national and sub-national levels. Still, the only thing that will guarantee our victory is our unity of purpose and hard work with discipline. We demonstrated that in 2015 and 2019. Let us demonstrate it again in the year 2023. All members of the Presidential Campaign Council must make unity our watchword. No army goes into battle in disarray or without a common purpose. I urge all of us to see our membership of the Council as a privilege given to us to serve our party and our country. As we get prepared to form the next administration, the party, through its manifesto, is ensuring that the legacy programs and projects of the present administration will be sustained and built upon. The programs of our candidates are also the party's program. The National Working Committee and indeed the entire party are ready to work for the actualization of these programs. I must, I must take advantage of our gathering to specially acknowledge the role that the women folk are playing in the campaign process. On October the 10th, 2022, they undertook a notable initiative and launched their campaign council in this very hall. One woman form a very important support base of our party. We will do everything possible to advance their cause and ensure that their voices are heard and their interests delivered. Yeah. 
As we all begin this march to victory, let me salute and congratulate you once more and urge you to stand together, work together, so that we can win together. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for your kind attention and you are most welcome to this occasion. Thank you. Ashwa you love a combale, it's a duro. 